Okay, I'm going to do some testing here on some servo current draw for the high-tech HS7954SHs, digital high-speed, high-torque servos. I'm using those in a Airworks Yak 55M 50cc. So I have six servos. And you're going to be using the Optima, the high-tech Optima 9 uh, receiver. Um, to power the system, I'm going to be using a pair of uh, BOMA RC um, two-cell lithium-ion packs, which have a nominal cell voltage of about 7.4 volts, and of course peak cell voltage once fully charged, 4.2 volts per cell come out to about 8.4 volts. Once you put a little bit of load under those packs, um, and uh, after even just after taking off the charger, they 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 don't retain 8.4 volts. They'll probably come down to about 8.2 off the charger, if sitting for a little bit, and then once you put them under a little bit of load, about 7.8 volts. Um, then while you're flying with current, uh, dropping the packs, you know they may get down to the nominal cell voltage, but they'll usually reside a little bit above that. Anyways, so I have six high tech 7954 servos and a power supply that I'm going to be using uh, to uh, give me currently I have it set to 7.14 volts and I'm going to be measuring the current through one of my multimeters so the current has travel through the entire length of the test lead through the multimeter and then through a little um, power lead for the receiver. So we're going to see some voltage drop. And I'm measuring the voltage off the uh, servo receiver bus, off directly off the receiver. So we're going to see the voltage from here, uh, from the receiver, that would then be sent to each of the servos after the voltage drop of all these leads and lines. So as I said, here we're watching our voltage, 7.14 volts. I'm going to set the minimum max up. So now we're watching the minimum voltage will be displayed here, and the uh, real-time voltage is displayed here. We'll do the same thing for current. This meter is a little nicer, so here's um, our real-time current, our uh, maximum current, our average current, and our minimum current. So just moving a few of the servos around, you can see that we've already spiked up to almost 3 amps, 2.8 amps, and our voltage has dropped to 6.8 volts. So if I move all of the servos around, we can see we uh, peaked at 3.97, so 4 amps, and our voltage has dropped to 6.59 volts. So what happens if I take a single servo, let's just take this guy, and I put it under a little bit of a load, you know, just hold it down. So let me see if I can do this with, I need an extra hand here. So, let me put it under a little bit more of a load with my thumb. Okay, so this is one servo. We're going to put it under a little bit of a load. Let me do a little more. Strong little servos. About 1.9 amp. Let's reset my minimum maximum. So 1.9 amp from a single servo. So that's up to 12 amps of current you can draw from all 60 servos. Uh, just under uh, what you know would be considered a, a moderate amount of stress on the servo. Uh, by no means was I uh, maxing out the servo. I was unable to hold the, the servo on the table with just my thumb. That was a 403 inch pounds of torque for those servos and uh, at uh, this voltage and it's uh, pretty dang strong. So I'm going to put the radio into a, a test mode which will move all the servos automatically for me. 
see them all moving. I'm actually going to run them there for a while at this voltage just to make sure they're reliable and I don't run into any issues with the servos. And we can see the live voltage fluctuate as the current fluctuates. Make that a little bit faster read out there. Now, it's for heck of it, I'll put one a little bit under load. Four point three. Let's put two of these a little bit under a little bit of the load here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold them down a little bit, put a little stress on them. Almost five amps. That's about all I can do. I'm pushing down as hard as I can on these darn things, and they just can't keep them down. It's about five amps. So you can see how the voltage drops significantly, even though the power supply voltage. Is rock solid steady. You can see the amp meter on the power supply coming up too, but the voltmeter is perfectly steady. So, what I could do to eliminate this being a lead issue is measure the voltage um, differential between my meter. See what how much voltage loss I'm getting out of the line here, out of my meter, at four amps and just subtract that from the equation. So then I would know how much voltage drop I'm seeing simply out of this lead right here. Or I could just measure the voltage between here and here. And uh, all right, so let's do that. That won't be hard to do. Okay. So, turn that off. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave the ground side connected to the ground bus. And we'll measure the positive side here. Actually, I want positive and positive to measure the loss of just one line. We'll go max. The max 0.1. Now double that because we're measuring the resistance of one of these leads. And then we got to go through both leads to complete the circuit. So it's going to be double that. So we have about 0.2 volt loss just in this lead, this short little lead right here alone. So that's one reason why I'm going to have two connections. Uh, through a uh, BOMA RC uh, dual battery um, fault tolerant um, uh, automatic uh, balancing um, fail safe pin and, pin and flag switch which will then will feed two outputs from the pin and flag switch to so two batteries into the uh, BOMA RC um, balancer slash redundant uh, battery isolator and it's also a power switch the pin and flag style fail safe switch and now has two outputs and I'm going to feed into two channels here I'm going to feed into channel 9 and channel 8 since I only need seven channels six channels for the servos one channel for the opto kill um, and channel 8 and 9 will be used for uh, power so I'll have two power leads and two connections just in case one connection gets corroded or um, goes bad, a crimp on the wire can go bad inside the connector and I'll end up with uh, half the voltage drop of the lead. Now the leads I'm going to use are actually a little better quality than these. These are just what came with the high tech just to power the receiver. Um, so there you go. Just a little bit of fun playing with uh, electronics this morning. Thank you.